What a beautiful morning. I'm glad you came to visit us today at the village. Let's see if Trundle is awake yet. Trundle? Trundle, are you awake yet? Good morning, Mr. Quigley. Good morning, Trundle. Isn't it a beautiful morning? It certainly is. But you never know when it might rain. Well, that's true. But even if it does rain, that would be all right, because God sends the rain to help things grow. Ah, you're right about that, Mr. Quigley. Say, let's see what Molly brought us in the mail. All right, a letter. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Don't lie. Always tell the truth. For when we lie to each other, we only hurt ourselves. Mr. Quigley, what does it mean to tell the truth? To tell the truth is to say what really happened. Oh, then what does it mean to lie? Well, to lie is to say something to hide what really happened. Oh, God always tells the truth, right, Mr. Quigley? That's right. And if we want people to trust us, then we should always tell the truth. You know, today is a good day to learn about telling the truth. Good morning, Mr. Quigley. Well, good morning, Bubba. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm kind of bored. I already had my breakfast. Two bananas of milk, some banana bread, and banana yogurt, and I don't have anything to do now. Nothing to do, huh? Well. Did you know that today is the fun day picnic? No! Why don't you and Trundle think of something that you could do together? That's a great idea. Hey, Trundle, what can we do together? How about if I be the mm, action news reporter and report about all the great events of the day? Oh, and I could be your cameraman. How about? But where are you going to get a camera? Oh, um, um, oh, I know. I'll go home and make one. Yeah, I'll see you later. In a few minutes, everybody's going to gather here at the porch, and we're going to plan for the fun day picnic this afternoon. You don't want to miss the planning, do you? Oh, I won't. I'll be right back. Good. Oh, there they are. That's them. The pet blobbits. The one of the funnest things in the whole world. And Mom won't let me have one because they cost too much. I wish I could have one. <sighs> hey, Danny. Aren't you going to go over to Mr. Quigley's porch this afternoon and help plan for the fun day picnic? Yeah, I suppose. Well, why the big sigh? Don't you want to go? Yeah, I want to go to, um... Dexter? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Sure, ask away. Um, if I asked you for ten dollars, would you give it to me? Well, Danny, ten dollars is a lot of money. What do you need the money for? Um, well, you see, I need ten dollars to get one of the best things to play with in the whole world. See? A pet blob it? Yeah. What's a pet blob it? Well, it's great, Dexter. You see, all you do is take your specially made, genuine made in Spain pet blobbit out of its original shrink wrapped cocoon and sprinkle some ordinary super grow tap water on it and presto changeo! Your pet blobbit grows. It's the most amazing thing you've ever seen on TV. Uh, yeah, that's what they said on TV. Uh, what do you say? Well, ten dollars is still a lot of money. What'd your parents say? Ah, uh, Mom said no. But, uh, you could give me the money, and I could pay you back later, and we wouldn't have to tell my mom. But, Danny, if we didn't tell your mom, it would kind of be like lying, and nothing good comes from lies. Only more lies. I'll probably never get to own one of my own pet blobbits. Well, sure you will someday. I don't care about someday. I want a pet blob it now. But not if you have to lie to get it. 
Don't be surprised, cause the good thing's coming your way. When saying what's true is true, you do what you gotta do. Don't be surprised, cause the good thing's coming your way today. Saying what's true is true. You do what you gotta do. Don't be surprised, cause a good thing's coming your way today. When you are a youth, if you always tell the truth, people learn that they can trust you. God will see you through if you trust what He can do. Just you wait and see. Surprise, cause a good thing's coming your way. When saying what's true is true, you do what you gotta do. Don't be surprised, cause a good thing's coming your way today. I sure hope I can help with the decorations. Bubba, are you almost ready? Mr. Quigley is about to start the meeting. Oh, I'm ready, Trundle. I just had to make sure my camera was ready. Okay, I'm going to start my action news report. Now, make sure your camera is turned on, Bubba. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. The camera is on, Trundle. Now what do we do? You point it at me and say, action. Action. This is Trundle, your action news reporter, reporting from Mr. Quigley's front porch, where everybody has gathered to plan for the big fun day picnic. As you can see, um, Baba, Baba, you're oh. not pointing the camera at me. Oops, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. As you can see, Mr. Quigley is about to talk. So, um, Bubba? Bubba, your fingers are in the way. Well, oops, I'm sorry, Trundle. I'll have more on the story later. This is going to be a fun oh, day. Hey, I'm everybody, excited. we need this to be quiet good. because we're going to start planning for the fun day picnic. <gasps> Sorry I'm late, Mr. Quigley. Oh, that's all right, Danny. We're just beginning now. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Quigley. Can I ask you a question? Sure, Lemon. What is it? Um, what's a fun day picnic? Yeah, that's a good question, Lemon. Thank you. <laughs> a fun day picnic is a time when everyone who comes to the picnic either makes something or plans something to do at the picnic. Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm. It sounds like mm. fun. Oh, sure fun day picnics are lots of fun because you can have a fun day picnic anywhere, like at a park or even a church and even at home. And you can have it at any meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. What's so good about them is that everyone who goes to the picnic also does something for the picnic. And it's a great time to share together. Oh, oh, I'd boy, like to do boy. something, I Mr. Quigley. Now, wait a second, wait a second, please. Wait a second, I'm going to take you one at a time. We're going to take turns. Spike, what would you like to do for the picnic? Well, I think I'd really like to have everyone play a game with me. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Trundle, what would you like to do for the fun day picnic? I want to be the action news reporter 
and tell a story. Oh, That's a yeah. good idea. Yeah. 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 But who is going to make the lemonade? Oh, uh, Mr. Quigley, I would because my name is Lemon. Oh, that's <laughs> good, Lemon. Very good. Well, who's going to make the sandwiches? I will, Mr. Quigley. And I'll help Alex with the sandwiches. Oh, that would be good, Mrs. Lingenberry. I'd appreciate the help. Mr. Quigley, Mr. Quigley. Yes, Danny. Mr. Quigley, I want to make some decorations, like a big sign that says fun day picnic that's a good idea we could use a sign but but mr quigley what i'm gonna need some money well i'll tell you what danny after we're done with our planning meeting i'll give you five dollars so you can buy some supplies for your sign okay i want to tell you a story a story from the bible about a boy named david Good. Now, good. David was a shepherd, and a shepherd is one who is trusted to look after sheep. Did you know that? <laughs> That's different. Even though David was young and a shepherd, God made him king over the entire nation. Wow. Huh. Now, God knew that if David could be trusted with the smaller job of being a shepherd, that then he could trust him also with the bigger job of being king. Oh, boy. Oh. Now, each of us have a smaller part together in the fun day picnic, and we're trusting each other to do our jobs. So, can we trust you, Alex, to make the sandwiches? Sure can, Mr. Quigley, as long as Mrs. Lingenberry helps. I sure will, Alex. I promised I would. Danny, can we trust you to make the sign? You bet, Mr. Quigley. Good. Can we trust each of you to do your part for the fun day picnic? Sure, sure thing. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we better get to work because there's a lot to do before this afternoon. Okay. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Good. Wow. I have a whole $5 to spend on painting decorations. Let's see. Here's the paint stuff right here. Um, I'm going to need some paint, and I'm gonna need a paintbrush, and I'm gonna need something to stir the paint, and I'm gonna need um, uh, a pet blob it. I can't believe it. Here it is. A specially selected made in Spain pet blob it in its original shrink wrap cocoon just waiting for some original, ordinary, super grow tap water from which it will presto change Wow. And look, the price isn't $10 anymore. It's, it's $4.99. <laughs> oh, oh boy, what a great deal. I've got to get it. Oh, oh but I can't. But I may never have another chance to have my own pet blobbit. But I'm supposed to buy paint stuff with this money. But I really want a pet blobbit, and I'm sure Mr. Quigley won't mind. So I'm gonna buy a pet blobbit. <sighs> wow, well, my very own pet blobbit. <sighs> I'll dip it in the super grow tap water here and see what happens. <sighs> Let's see now. It only cost me five dollars, and I just put my name on it, D-A-N-N-Y, so in case I lose it, then someone will know it's mine. But I never want to lose this, because I got it for such a good deal. <sighs> Let's see. It should be growing. Hey, nothing's happening. Maybe that's why it was on sale. It doesn't work. Here's Danny over here, Mr. Quigley. I'll see how he's coming with the sign. Oh, no, it's Dexter. I can't let him see my blobbit because he'll know where I got the money to buy it. Oh, where can I hide it? Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Hey, Danny, how's it coming with the sign for the picnic this afternoon? Oh, uh, uh, um... I, uh, I, I got some bad news, Dexter. I, I, I lost money and I spilled the paint. Yeah. 
you lost the money and spilled the paint? Yeah, well, you see, I, I mean, I, uh, I lost the money for the paint, but I probably would have spilled the paint if I had the money to buy the paint, but before I would have spilled it. Yeah. Uh, hey, do you know what I mean? I, um, think so. Do you know where you lost the money? Oh, yeah, um, I, uh, lost the money, I think, on the way to the store, or maybe, uh, uh, the post office. Oh, boy. Danny, you don't look so good. Are you feeling sick or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I think I am getting sick. Well, maybe you better go find Doc, and I'll go down by the post office and the store and see if I can find the money. Okay, Dexter. See you later. Bye. Phew. Oh boy, that was close. I almost got caught. My pet blobbit started to grow, and, and Dexter almost found out. Oh, I guess I lied to him. Uh, but I had to. Uh, I'd, I'd better find a good place to keep my blobbit. I don't think I'll ever think of a game to play for the fun day picnic. Would you like me to help, Spike? I'd like that, Mr. Quigley. I'll tell you what. I'll help you think of a game if you help me with these party hats. That sounds great. I need to make sure they fit. Let's try this one on. Here. Huh. Mr. Quigley, I look like a crayon. <laughs> tell you what, I'll make it a little smaller, okay? That's a good idea. You know, I know a good game for the picnic. How about this one? Yeah, that sounds great. I think everyone would like to play that game. Thanks, Mr. Quigley. You're welcome. That's what friends are for, to help each other. Now, let's see if this is any better. Uh, boy, this blob in my backpack is getting heavy. I wish it would stop growing. Well, hi, Danny. Oh, Mr. Quigley. That backpack sure looks heavy. What's in it? Oh, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, paint cans. Yeah, that I would have bought at the store, except I put some bricks in my backpack because I didn't have any paint cans. Ah, uh, I don't think I understand, Danny. What do you mean? Uh, you see, I, I tripped over the bricks and lost the money that I would have bought the paint to do the sign with, and uh, Dexter's over at the paint store looking for the money. Oh. Yeah. Well, is there something we can do to help? Yeah, can I help you carry those bricks or something? Uh, no, no, you, you don't have to do that. I can do it myself. Why don't you go help Dexter find the money? That's a good idea. Spike, why don't you go over to the post office and look for the money, and I'll go to the store and see if we can find it. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. I can't go any further with this blobbit. I wish I'd never seen it before. Uh, now I even told a lie to Spike and Mr. Quigley. Uh, I've got to get rid of this blobbit before somebody finds out I have it. Let's see. Um, uh, I know what I'll do. This is Baba. Um, Trundle said that it was my turn to be the action news reporter. And his turn to hold the camera. Get closer to the table, Baba. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I like it when we take turns, and Mr. Quigley says that it makes Jesus happy, because then we are being nice to each other. Do you want to try some of my lemonade, Baba? Sure, Lemon. Mr. Quigley, would you like to try some of my lemonade? I'd love to, Lemon. I made it myself. Here's one for you and one for you. Well, how do you like it? Lemon, honey, make sure you don't drink any of that lemonade. We still have to add sugar and water because right now it's very, very sour. Okay, Mommy. I won't drink any. Bubba, Mr. Quigley, you're going to have to come back later and get another taste of my lemonade. Thank you, Bubba. We will. It's not quite done yet. <laughs> uh. 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 
Uh, whew. Boy, I don't like this blobbit anymore. Maybe if I bury it here, I'll never have to see it again. Uh, uh, Mr. Quigley, did you find the money that Danny lost this morning? No, I didn't find the money, but I did find out where the money went. You did? Where? Have, have you ever heard of a blobbit before? Well, the store clerk said that Danny was in earlier and that he had bought a blobbit for $4.99. Remember, I gave him $5 to buy paint supplies for the Fun Day picnic sign. Now I understand. Danny told me this morning he'd do anything to get one of those. Well, he got one all right, and he lied to us, too. Thanks for helping look for the money. Sure, Mr. Quigley. We've got quite a problem, don't we? Danny lied to us, and that makes me real sad. Whenever we lie to each other, that makes Jesus sad also. What do you think is the right thing for Danny to do? Well, the fun day picnic's about to start, and we gotta get over to the playground. Come on. Bubba, hurry and turn the camera on. I'm ready to start. Now say action. Action. This is Trundle, your action news reporter with my camera crew, Bubba, at the Fun Day Picnic. Everyone here is happy and ready to have a great time, except for Danny, who is very sad because he said he lost the money to make the big sign for the picnic. I will bring you more later about what happens at the picnic. Well, let's start the fun day picnic, everyone. Yeah, this will be great. I hope you had a good time planning and preparing for your part in the picnic. I had a blast. Good. Well, Spike is going to start us off with a game. Go ahead, Spike. Well, okay. I decided that I'd like to play oh, I Like You. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. And I'll tell you how we can Sounds play. Like yeah. We have a blast. Yeah. See, it'll be That's real. Happy. And then you'll... Danny? Danny, don't you want to play the game with the other kids? No. Well, don't you feel well? I, I feel okay, I guess. Would you like to tell me what's wrong then? Um, I don't think so, Mr. Quigley. Okay, Danny. Go ahead, Spike, start the game. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everybody repeat after me. Okay. Oh, I like you. I, I like, like you. you. You like me. You, you like, like me. me. Do like me. Do like me. On one, two, three. On one, two, three. Everybody laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bubba, your turn. Okay. I like you. I, I like, like you. You like me. You, you like, like me. me. Do like me. Do like me. On one. Two, three. On one, two, three. Everybody wave. <laughs> Everybody laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, Lemon. Okay. I like you. I, I like, like you. you. You like me. You, you like, like me. me. Do like me. Do like me. On one, two, three. On one, two, three. Give a hug. Oh, that's nice. Everybody laugh. <laughs> Everybody wave. Oh, that was a fun game, Spike. Yeah, Thank thanks. you very much. Thanks, Mr. Quigley. Good game. Good game. Now, the next thing we're going to do is eat. Good. <laughs> Danny, why don't you come over and join the picnic? You're sitting here all by yourself. Mrs. Lingenberry brought the sandwiches that she and Alex made, and it's going to be good. Here, look. I made a hat just for you, and it fits perfectly. And I've got one just like it. We really want you to come over and join us for the picnic. Uh, OK, Mr. Quigley, but I'm not very hungry. Oh, that's OK. Why don't you come at least sit down with us, OK? OK. We want to thank Lemon and her mom for making this wonderful lemonade. Yeah, it's great. 
and Alex and Mrs. Lingenberry for making these terrific looking sandwiches. Yeah. And uh, we'd like to thank Mr. Quigley for these great hats. Oh, thank you. But most of all, we need to thank Jesus for this meal and for this day. I've asked Mrs. Lingenberry to teach us the meal prayer song. I'd love to. Now remember, we're talking to Jesus when we pray. It's gonna rain. Come on, everybody, let's go over to the porch. Come on, run, run, quick, quick. Boy. Isn't the rain wonderful? Oh, yeah. God sends the rain to clean the air and help things grow. Hmm. Uh, the rain makes things grow. Grow? Oh, no! Danny. <laughs> oh, no! Stop! Go away! I don't like you anymore! Stop growing! Danny! D Danny, what is this? <clears throat> what is what? What is this thing you're trying to hide? Uh, how, how should I know? Well, <laughs> well, it says your name right on it. D-A-N-N-Y, Danny. Oh, you're right. Uh, Mr. Quigley, I've, I've got to tell you something and I can't hide it anymore. What do you want to tell me, Danny? I, I, I lied to you today, and I lied to everybody a lot. I, I didn't tell what really happened. What did you lie about, Danny? I lied about losing the money at the store and post office and tripping over the bricks, and that I would make the fun day picnic sign, and, and now nobody likes me and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell the truth? Well, I, I, I wanted to get a pet blob it so much that after I told the first lie, then I had to tell another, then another. <laughs> and your lies got bigger and uglier and kind of like your pet blob it, huh? That's right. And, and even when I tried to bury the blob it in the ground, it, it still grew. And, and now nobody likes me. Oh, Danny, come here. Everybody still likes you. But telling lies is wrong. And we're really disappointed, but we still love you. Oh, they think you do, Mr. Quigley? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Quigley. I don't ever want to tell another lie. Well, I forgive you, Danny, but I think there's someone else that you need to ask for forgiveness, too. Huh. Who's that? Well, Jesus heard you tell those lies today. Oh, I know he heard me, and I promise to tell him I'm sorry, too. Good. Boy, 
you know, I I kind of feel better. And and but but everybody had a part in the fun day picnic except me. Be, because I never made a sign. Well, what do you think about helping doing some cleanup? We've got a lot of stuff to clean up around here. Oh, I'd like to do that, Mr. Quigley. Well, you can help me then. Oh, okay. Uh, but, Mr. Quigley, what about the blobbit? Well, I think we can take care of the blobbit when we clean up the place. That won't be any problem. Oh, okay. Why don't we get started? We've got a lot to do. This is Trundle, the action news reporter, with my camera crew, Bubba, giving our final report for the day in front of the giant pet blobbit. This has been a busy day, and all of us here learned something about how we must tell the truth if we want others to trust us. That is all I have to say. Do you want to say anything, Bubba? The only thing I know is that I always want to try and tell the truth so I don't get one of these growing in my front yard. This is Trundle and Bubba saying good night. Good, good night. night. Oh, this has been quite a day, hasn't it, Trundle? It sure has, Mr. Quigley. I think I'm tired out from all of the excitement. Me too. Mr. Quigley? Mm-hmm. I think I understand now that telling a lie is saying something to hide what really happened. That's right. Like when Danny said he lost the money, but instead what he did was use the money to buy the blobbit. That's right. And telling the truth is saying what really happened. Trundle, do you remember what the message was that I got in the mail this morning? I sure do. It said... Don't lie. Always tell the truth. For when we lie, we only hurt ourselves. That's right. We not only hurt ourselves, but we hurt those who are trusting us to tell the truth. God always wants us to tell the truth. Right, Mr. Quigley? He sure does. I'm glad that Danny said he was sorry for telling those lies today. And I know he's going to always try and tell the truth. I know you are too. Well, it's time for us to go. It's been good to have you here at the village today, and you're welcome back anytime. Remember, God loves you, and we do too. Good night. Now let's see, the mailbox is closed and ready for another letter soon. Oh, I need to put Trundle's cage cover up so that it's ready for the night. There. Good night, Trundle. Good night, Mr. Quigley. See you in the morning. terrible lies today. I, I, I really feel bad and, and I'm really sorry. Dear God, it's time to go to sleep. I know my busy day is done. Dear 
Thanks for the promises you keep And thanks for Jesus Christ, your Son Thank you for Fred family Thank you for watching over me I know I'm all